In this video, find out how the Tesla performs in the coldest city in Canada that will charge the Tesla up to 100% and do a real life range test. Now, before we start the video today, I want to thank our sponsor for this video who made this video possible. And it's you. Yes, you, the person watching this video. You watched my video, you hit that, you smash that like button, you subscribe, and you hit that bell notification button. And that's, and you didn't stop there. You shared it with your friends. Your friends watched my video. They liked my video. And they bought a Tesla with my Tesla referral code. And they got some free supercharging. But most importantly, I got some free supercharging, which is why right now I'm supercharging my car for free. And it made this video possible. I can stay at the supercharger for as long as I want and I don't have to pay a dollar. So thank you for sponsoring this video. All right, so we're almost done uh, charging the car to 100%. I have a little bit of uh, battery degradation. That's why I have a 371 kilometers of range instead of 402 that my 2020 Tesla Model 3 is supposed to come with. On the energy consumption chart, it says that I can get an estimated, re estimated range of about 170 kilometers. This is if I drive exactly how I, was, how I was driving, if my driving habits were the same and my, all my speed. But honestly, I'm gonna go into the highway where the speeds are about 100 kilometers an hour compared to my city driving where it's about from ranges from 50 to 80 kilometers. So this is probably not right at this point. I think my estimate is I, I'm probably going to get about 100 to 120 kilometers in highway range. So even though Tesla's not asking me to take off the supercharger, I'm going to take it off, keep it back. There you go. Perfect. All right, so I have 371 kilometers of range and I'm gonna start my journey at 5.55 p.m. Perfect. So we wanna be driving as economically as possible uh, so that we can go the furthest. So I'm gonna change my acceleration to chill mode. Even the regenerative braking is set to standard. I don't have much of regenerative braking available just because I've, I've charged my car to 100%. So almost 10 minutes into the journey, it looks pretty good. My projected range is about 104 to 84 kilometers in the highway, going about 100 kilometers an hour. Right now, you can see that the area around the car is around minus 26 degrees Celsius. The outside temperature is around minus 28, so this is fairly close. So we are going to that minus 30 degree mark. So the Tesla seems still seems to be doing quite well, honestly speaking. I didn't expect Tesla to be doing this well in the highway. The projected range seems to be fluctuating at 180 and 190, which is nice. So let's see, like, I think my estimation of getting 110 kilometers of range is going to be absolutely wrong, which I'm, which I'm gonna be really happy about. So at 6.27 p.m., it's minus 28 degrees Celsius. The further up we're going, Right now we're traveling north and the further up we're going, it's getting colder and colder. I've changed the energy to percentage now, so I have 57% uh, percent of battery life remaining. I'm going to turn it around when it's 55% uh, just in case so that I don't run out of battery in the middle of nowhere. Like literally there's nothing here. So I don't want to run out. I do. I'm, I am prepared with food and winter gear, but at the same time, I I, I don't want to use them. So we took a U-turn. We're heading back. It's minus 30 degrees Celsius right now. The distance traveled is almost 100 kilometers. With it's pretty. It's looking pretty well for the projected range, which is about a 90, 96 kilometers. And it looks like we'll have 9% of battery life remaining. So even if this goes down and I have range anxiety, I can always reduce my speed to get more range. So I think I'm going against headwind. So that's why this was 11% a couple of minutes ago. Now it's 9%. So if it reduces to 5% or even lower, I can always reduce my speed to get more range. We've been traveling for one hour, six minutes, and everything is looking pretty well. Like I've almost gone uh, as high as Gimli and then basically Winnipeg Beach and Gimli and now I'm just returning to Winnipeg Supercharger. So you can see here that there's 68 kilometers left to get to the supercharger so I can pull out the energy consumption chart and my projected range is 85 kilometers so I'm not really that worried I'm not getting that much of a range anxiety you pretty much get used to it 
after you buy a Tesla, especially a standard range plus. Um, I'll have around 7% of battery life and I'm pretty confident I'm gonna have that or it can go, sometimes it can go as low as 0% and I'll still be confident enough to make it to the supercharger as long as you know what you're doing and as, if you have owned the Tesla for a while. It is getting colder so it's minus 31 degrees Celsius so outside temperature is probably minus 32 or minus 33 degrees Celsius. Initially, it said that we'll have around 11% of battery life when we get to the supercharger, but right now it says 6%, so I'm trying not to panic. It's not like I'm 100 kilometers away from the city, which I am, but it's okay. It'll be all right once you, once you like buy the Tesla. This is what you sign up for. I'm just kidding. There's the superchargers here. This is something that I did to myself. I'm just testing out how cold, uh, how far a Tesla can go in the cold. For you guys, oh, definitely hit that subscribe button and that like button if you guys find this video after a couple of years, after the, the buried me here in the cold, cold north. So I'm, I'm definitely not panicking. It's minus 31 degrees Celsius. It's getting colder, so I'm losing a little bit more range. I'm pretty sure I can make it to the supercharger, but if I don't, thank you so much for all the subscribers. Thank you so much for all the views, guys. I love you guys. All right, so my battery is getting really cold. It's my, it's minus 29 degrees Celsius outside. Uh, the snowflake icon is appearing. It's reappearing after a couple of seconds, and that's not good because if the snowflake icon re re reappears again, it'll take a little bit of my battery away, which means even if it takes away 5%, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm probably gonna get stranded because I only have five to six percent of battery to spare. So let's see. All right, so this has gone down to three percent. The temperature has reduced a little bit at minus 29 degrees Celsius. I don't know why. Probably because there's a truck in front of me and the engine's warm. I don't know. Uh, or maybe I'm. I'm um, right now I'm traveling south so it, it is a colder it, it is a little bit colder when I go down south versus when I was going up north so that might be the reason as well and also this snowflake sign has taken away a little bit of my battery and like I predicted my battery hasn't started preconditioning and it probably won't precondition I'm barely making it to the supercharger so the Tesla feels that preconditioning the battery will use more of the battery so it is not going to precondition the battery so I'm going to have to go to the supercharger and sit for a while before I get any charge because my battery needs to warm up we are at 10% battery life honestly it's not 10% it's around 13 to 14 percent because of oh you know what maybe 15 percent because the Tesla has decided to keep away some of the battery life on reserve just in case die in the middle of the road and it needs to keep the uh, major instruments and the battery warm so this is basically the range when I charge my Tesla up to a 90% obviously this should be a little bit whoa there you go it's it's starting to precondition my battery so that's nice so when it gets a little bit close usually even when I'm like 40 50 minutes away from the supercharger oh you know what that's too much when I'm like 30 minutes away from the supercharger it does precondition the battery but right now just because I have such a low battery it it started preconditioning the battery at, a, at about 15 minutes away from the supercharger when you charge your Tesla to up to a 90% you might be getting about 163 kilometers of range or more just because I have a little bit of degradation in my Tesla so you should be getting around 170 to 180 kilometers on the newer Teslas that has a range of 424 kilometers on a 100% charge so this is what I'm getting uh, I'll show you guys when I run out of battery when I'm at 0% how much this is we have made it with 3% left in the battery honestly we'd have a little bit more the Tesla reserves some of the battery life just in case like I said uh, 3% the whole journey was about two hours uh, we traveled about 175.8 kilometers so my initial range was about 371 kilometers and my Tesla traveled with almost 100% battery life 175.8 kilometers 
and you know what i can just see the projected range so the projected range is six kilometers so the tesla my tesla when it has like around 371 kilometers of range at minus 30 degree near minus 30 degrees celsius it can travel about 180 kilometers in the highway now the main question that is on everyone's mind can you still travel from all right so i'm gonna zoom out so the number one question can you still travel from coast to coast like can you travel from the far east side of canada i mean the far west side of canada to the far east side so and the main question can you travel to brandon with a tesla model 3 standard range plus when it's minus 30 to minus 40 degrees celsius and the answer is maybe so if you wanted to make it to brandon it's about 190 kilometers you can is just with maybe with a long range yes but with with a standard range plus you'd be really pushing it and the tesla would tell you if you can make it to brandon the tesla would automatically route you to the uh, portage la prairie supercharger and you can travel coast to coast in canada uh there's a supercharger every 50 to 100 kilometers so even from here there's a supercharger 100 and 104 kilometers away from the Winnipeg supercharger and then from here to here it's about 95 kilometers or 90 kilometers away from this supercharger to this supercharger so you can travel but it'd be it'll be hard you'd be hopping from one supercharger to the other so 195 this is 314 so if I do the quick math here yeah you can, so you can still make it from this supercharger to this supercharger so you can go from coast to coast in Canada. Hopefully all the superchargers are working, are in, they're not, none of them are out of service. And even if they are out of service, they will let you know beforehand. So the supercharger in Medicine Hat has a temporary closure so that you can't use. So you would have to really uh, take a different route if you want to go to Calgary uh, or if you have a long range plus 878 1000 so this would be a really close call considering that the medicine has supercharger is not working so this is something that you really need to calculate if you want to make that journey especially not at night time um, there should be one supercharger here like they're getting more superchargers so maybe so they're getting more superchargers here so maybe if this doesn't work the tesla will route you through here so yes you can make it but it really helps if you have a long range tesla instead of a standard range plus tesla especially if you want to do long road trips in the winter in the summer everything's good you can do go wherever the hell you want but in the winter you really have to calculate these things before you start your journey that's all we had for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm if you like my video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that bell notification button to get notified when I upload a new video. And if you have friends living in cold climate and extreme temperatures like this, and they're planning to buy a Tesla, send this video over to them. Or if you have a family member who's planning to buy a Tesla in Winnipeg or in colder climate cities like this, or maybe in Norway, I don't know, Share this video with them so that they are aware of all the things that they can expect when they buy their brand new Tesla. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.